Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm going to be talking about how cases are messing up the Nasreddin Nabi deal. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. Now cases are really really messing up in the negotiations with Nasreddin Nabi. We know they want Nasreddin Nabi as their number one target for the head coaching job at Amakos. But now one question that I've, I've been asking myself is if Kesifs are looking for a new coach, why is Atazwani still at Kesifs right now? This is complete incompetence. Now, this is indecision from Kesifs. So, if you want a new girlfriend, you have to get rid of your current girlfriend, isn't it? So, that is basically how the world works. If you want something new and fresh and you know this thing cannot coexist with something else in competition that why don't you get rid of what you currently have so if cases really really want Nasreddin Nabi why are they not getting rid of Arthur's money so if they really really want to get rid of Arthur's money they need to just suck him at this moment unless they're waiting for the end of June so we wait what's gonna happen in this situation so what I have for you as an update now Currently, the talks are on pause between Nasrin Nabi and Kaiser Chiefs because they cannot reach, reach an agreement. Kaiser Chiefs will not compromise. Nasrin Nabi would like to have his own bedroom stuff. He wants to have people that he's familiar with, people that potentially speak the same language as him, and people that he has worked with before. Now, Kaiser Chiefs, they want to be in charge of that. They want to select their own bedroom stuff. They want to select their assistant coach. They want to select a whole bunch of people strangers that Nasreddin Labi will have to work with. Now, this is not good. This is why South African football is not improving. This is why our football in South Africa is not improving because in order for a coach to take full responsibility when the job does not go well, you have to give him access, 100% access. Now, we've seen this at Mamelodi Sundowns. We know Roland Mugwena wanted to have his own backroom stuff, his own coaching stuff, but it looks like he had to compromise as well, right? They, he had to keep the likes of Steve Pompela and Mango Bangniti. We know there is no love loss between Mango Bangniti and Roland Mugwena, but now they decided to keep him. That is an example. So if Roland Mugwena fills that job, it's going to be because of that. So they cannot blame him 100% if he fills that job because they did not give him all um, the ropes to hang himself with. So it's almost like they're giving him nothing. They just give you the job and then they are in charge of everything else. They're in charge of recruitment. They're in charge of everything else. Like in case of Kizzy they already have a few signings that they've completed in January. So what if Nasruddin Nabi comes in the job and he does not like those players? What happens then? It's a complete rebuild again next season. So it's going to be rebuilt again and again and again. So Kizzy has been doing this for years. This has to change. No, Nasruddin Nabi, he's a very, very, very uh, respected man in coaching all in africa he is known in egypt he has coached in egypt and he's coached in uh you know he has been coaching young africans where he has done very very well but now the talks are at a stand still right now because Nasser Nabi will not take the job at Kizzis unless they give him what he wants and Kizzis also they are stubborn they feel like Nasser Nabi will end up compromising but Nasser Nabi also has other um, offers on the table. There are teams that are looking to appoint him as their head coach. Teams that will appoint him, to appoint him tomorrow. But now the problem is that Nabi is not also uh, in a mood or it does not want to accept another job before this case shifts issue is resolved because he is really keen on a move to case shifts. He really wants to see what he can do in South African football. Now, I want to give you something as well. There is this Avorian agent who is the goal between, between the, uh, the goal between uh, for Kizzis and Nasreddin Nabi. So, he is actually Nasreddin Nabi's agent. And also, this guy, it looks like he's also the, an agent of uh, Rangachiva Vero. So, actually, Kizzis failing to appoint Nasreddin Nabi can mess up Rangachiva Vero con, uh, as move to Kizzis because uh, this guy is called Har Harve Trabi, Harvard Trabi, he's from Ivory Coast. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. So he's the war between. So what he's basically saying is uh, once Nasir Navi to Kizichi's move has been confirmed, then it's going to be much easier to get Chivavero to join Kizichi's. We know Chivavero has an offer on the table from Young Africans, and that offer is said that he has 
been offered 180,000 tax free monthly earnings. So, which is going to be one of the biggest contract of his career, obviously, for a player like uh, Ranga Chibaveri. He has never had this big a contract. But then again, he is not willing also to accept that. He wants to see what cases have to offer. But at the moment, cases are messing things up. They want to be in charge. So, they can be in charge of the finances and everything else. But I think they need to let the coach work. They need to let the coach cook. But cases are not doing that at the moment. They are not willing to let the coach make his own decisions. So, this is not good they are treating the coaches like children so when the coach fails at case tips he gets the set we are forgetting like you know even now if a certain number was to be appointed and then case tips win in this in this matter they give him their own stuff training uh coaching stuff and everything else when in may when there are no results when the results have been bad we are gonna blame the coach alone we always fail to see the big problem here now the big problem at case tips is them down with me that is it Truth is, they want to be in charge of every single thing, and that is not how football should work. So in football, we know the coach has to be in charge of his own backroom staff. He has to have his own coaching staff. Most importantly, the coaching staff. The coach has to come with his own coaching staff. We know our coaches in South Africa, they always compromise because this is how everything, this is how things have always been. But this has to change. So someone like Razad Nam, maybe he can be one of the first coaches who is given the charge at case who is given full control of the club but we will see what happens in the coming few weeks and days because talks are set to resume in the next few weeks because we know not, not nine days ago Apparently, Kesey just booked a ticket for Nasser Dinavi to come to South Africa for negotiations but the negotiations had already taken part like uh, uh, the first part of the negotiations took part and then where Kesey said they are not willing to let him have his own uh, training staff or his own coaching staff and the Nasser Dim Nabi decided against coming to South Africa because of that so he wants Kesey to commit to that before they can continue with negotiations but now we wait to see will Kesey compromise in this situation I think they will have to compromise if they want to have a top top coach who knows what he's doing they need to compromise otherwise they're gonna end up with someone who is inexperienced and he's desperate for the job so this in the situation at the moment Nasser Dim Nabi is not desperate for the job this is why the negotiations has been, have been dragged a little bit and it's been hard for them to take advantage of him because he is not desperate for the job. If he was desperate, I think he would have taken the job already. But Kesips have to make a decision on Atazwani. But I am pretty sure from what I've been told, Atazwani is going to be announced to have left the club on the 30th of June. So I don't know why Kesips are waiting for the 30th of June because a coach can be sacked at any moment. But I think there may be a twist in this tail because Kesey Chiefs, I don't think they are going to compromise on the decision of our Nasser Dinam because they still have others running. But if they have sacked others running, they would have to make a decision. But as of right now, they are relaxed on the situation because they still have others running. But no, others running, I think he's been used. He, he himself has to have some pride and just quit because he can see the team is talking to other coaches. So, what are you doing? What are you doing to resolve your future? So, you're just at the mercy of the club. It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, give me your thoughts on the situation. Do you think actually the coaches at KC in the previous years have failed? Or do you think actually they've been failed by the management? I am starting to think that they have been called, they have been failed by the management. Now, if you're new in this football, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as similar content every day. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like on the video. Thank you for watching.